you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? Clearly your number one listening show, where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly. Real name, Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. When the world heard our Kelly croon the soulful lyrics of I Believe I Can Fly, few knew that behind the Grammy-winning singer's success stood a humble yet extraordinary teacher, Lena McLean. Known as a legendary music educator and composer, Lena McLean not only nurtured R. Kelly's talent but also played a pivotal role in guiding his path to stardom. Her influence on his formative years underscores the profound impact a passionate educator can have on a student's future. Born in 1928, Lena McLean was the niece of the renowned gospel composer Thomas Dorsey who was often referred to as the father of gospel music. Growing up in a family steeped in music, McLean developed an early love for the art form which she later pursued with unwavering passion. She became a composer, conductor and eventually a teacher whose reputation for excellence preceded her. At Kenwood Academy in Chicago, McLean transformed her classroom into a hub of creativity and discipline. It was here amidst the structured rehearsals and impromptu vocal exercises that she met a young Robert Sylvester Kelly, who would later become the global music icon known as R. Kelly the king of R&B. McLean's first impression of R. Kelly was not just of a student who loved music but of someone with an extraordinary gift. His voice was different and it was also soulful, emotional and raw, she once said in an interview. Recognizing this unique potential, McLean made it her mission to mold R. Kelly into a polished performer. At the time, R. Kelly was a shy teenager very uncertain of his abilities and plagued by self-doubt. McLean's mentorship extended far beyond teaching music as she became a mentor and life coach, helping him build the confidence he lacked. She believed in me before I believed in myself, R. Kelly said of McLean in a past interview. To help R. Kelly overcome his shyness, McLean encouraged him to participate in school performances and talent shows. These experiences with time proved transformative. She introduced him to the thrill of connecting with an audience and the discipline required to perfect his music. McLean didn't stop at building R. Kelly's confidence alone but she also introduced him to the technical aspects of music including theory, composition and vocal techniques. She believed that a true artist needed not only talent but also a deep understanding of their craft. R. Kelly later credited these lessons as foundational to his songwriting and production skills, which helped him produce chart-topping hits across decades. One of McLean's teaching philosophies was to expose her students to as many musical genres as possible. She believed that versatility was key to developing a well-rounded musician. Under her guidance, R. Kelly explored gospel, classical music, jazz and rhythm and blues. She made me listen to Beethoven and Bach one day, and then Mahalia Jackson and Sam Cooke the next, R. Kelly recalled. This eclectic musical exposure allowed him to draw inspiration from a broad spectrum of styles which eventually became a hallmark of his work. McLean's lessons instilled in R. Kelly an appreciation for musical complexity and an ability to blend genres seamlessly, an approach that became evident in his innovative productions. It is interesting to know that McLean's mentorship wasn't confined to the walls of Kenwood Academy. She invested her time in understanding her students' struggles and aspirations often going above and beyond her duties as a teacher. For R. Kelly, she was more than an educator, she was a second mother. She famously told R. Kelly about how he was going to be a star, a statement that resonated deeply with him and became a driving force in his journey. Her unwavering belief in his talent fueled his determination to succeed even when the odds were against him. While her work with R. Kelly is often highlighted, Lena McLean's influence extends to countless other students who credit her for their success. Over her decades-long career, she has taught and mentored thousands of aspiring musicians many of whom have gone on to achieve notable careers in music, theater and other creative fields. Lena McLean's teaching philosophy was rooted in discipline, passion and a deep respect for the art of music. She demanded excellence from her students and was unafraid to push them out of their comfort zones. Yet, she balanced this rigor with compassion creating an environment where students felt supported and inspired. Lena McLean's influence reaches far beyond the classroom and her work with R. Kelly. As a composer, she has written over 400 works including cantatas, 
operas and choral pieces. Her contributions to music education have earned her numerous accolades, and her students ranging from gospel singers to Broadway performers continue to carry her legacy forward. The story of Lena McLean and R. Kelly is a testament to the transformative power of mentorship. By recognizing and nurturing R. Kelly's talent, McLean not only changed the trajectory of his life but also underscored the vital role educators play in shaping the future of their students. While R. Kelly's career has had its share of controversy, McLean's influence remains a shining example of what can be achieved when a teacher sees potential in a student and dedicates themselves to helping that potential flourish. Her legacy as an educator, mentor and composer will continue to inspire generations, reminding us all of the profound impact one teacher can have on the world. Lena McLean began teaching in Chicago in 1959 and worked at several schools before beginning at Kenwood in 1970, where she created a pilot curriculum that included all types of music from classical to popular. She was the founder of the McLean Ensemble, a group of singers that performed around Chicago at various events as well as the McLean Opera Company, which performed here in Chicago and around the country. Lena McLean composed more than 400 pieces of music ranging from pop to classical, including a cantata honoring the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. In 1981, she became an ordained minister and founded Holy Vessel Baptist Church in Hyde Park. Her late husband, Nathaniel McLean died later in the year 2000. At her 90th birthday party at the DuSable Black History Museum and Education Center, Jennifer Hudson sent a video that was played at the party expressing thanks to Lena McLean for helping her become a better singer. It is now just over a year since Lena died on 3rd of October 2023 at age 95 leaving behind a daughter, son-in-law, two grandsons and one great-grandson. R. Kelly sent a tribute reaffirming his appreciation to the person he always referred to as her second mother. We shall continue with this interesting story in the next episode. Thank for watching this video a production of LFN Media giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important that you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.